I'm Jamie Z, and this is a little different. Stick around and you'll see what I mean. I'm at the border with Kansas, near Highway 50 on the old Santa Fe Trail. This is our first stop on a statewide quest to find out how to say some of the place names we have in this state. Let's start with an easy one. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. The proper way to say the name of our state is probably one of the most contentious places I have on my list, and I'll probably get more comments about this place than anywhere else. And like all places, there's no one proper way to say it. Pronunciations change over time and vary by region. What I tried to find was the most common way for locals and longtime residents to say each place. So, about this sign, it's Colorado. It's not wrong to say Colorado, but in my experience, most local people say Colorado. Well, that was easy. Now on to the rest of the state. Arvada. If you say Arvada, just don't. Interesting piece of trivia, the name Arvada comes from an island in Syria. I'm now in downtown Denver. This is Wazi Street. And just a block away from Wazi is this street, pronounced... I'm going to get back to you on this one. Another Denver street. This one's named after a Native American tribe, Arapaho. You'll see it spelled with and without the E. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, and that's not it. It's Galapago. Another Denver street named after a Native American tribe, Zuni Street. I understand the people are called Zuni, but Denverites call the street Zuni. Okay, let's head out of Denver and find out how to say some of Colorado's towns. Buena Vista, one of many Spanish language names in the state. The story goes that the founders of Buena Vista purposely mispronounced the Spanish word to make it sound more like the English word beautiful. This is Salida. Spanish for junction, this town's at the crossroads of several early trading routes. Today we say La Junta. I'll give you a minute with this one. It's a Native American word from the Ute language, though its original meaning is in some dispute. No matter what it means, we say, so watch. Another Native American word? This town's named after a well-respected Ute chief who sought peace with the American settlers coming into this territory. We're not exactly sure how the man himself pronounced his name, but this town is called Uray. This town's named after an Arapaho chief who was friendly to the settlers and gold prospectors who came to this area. The name means left hand or left handed, and a few places around here use that name, but the town retains the Arapaho word, Niwat. A man with the first name of Lewis named this town after himself, so Louisville. This isn't Kentucky. This Ute word is a bit of a mouthful, but it's pronounced pretty much how it's spelled. Uncompagre. So here we are back in downtown Denver. 
The street was named after a founder of the city, Edward Winecoop. Thus, the street was called Winecoop by most people. But this brewery you see behind me was opened in 1988, and the owners of the brewery didn't want the word wine in their name, so they went with the Wincoop pronunciation. So today, the street is either Winecoop or Wincoop, but the brewery is definitely Wincoop. I hope that makes sense. Oh, I'm gonna go have a beer. Well, if I wasn't recording this at 7 a.m. on a Sunday, I would. But thanks for watching. I'll see you around.